What up, what up, Baltimax here. Got another video for you guys. We're gonna be going over in depth um, the difference between solid gold and gold-plated jewelry. I, When I was first starting out, I bought a lot of gold-plated pieces and um, some of them are doing okay and others aren't, you know, so they're pretty faded and I ended up replacing them with solid gold ones. So, and I've done some shorts on this, um, not really talking in them, comparing the two of, of you know pieces of jewelry that are one's gold plated and the other solid so we'll kind of go over the pros and cons in this video um and we're going to be comparing two of my tennis bracelets one is solid gold and the other is gold plated so let's go over it all right of them on my wrist here we'll get a close-up of it we'll also take it over my table and um, get an even closer look come on there we go now guys can you tell the difference it's pretty tough it's pretty tough to the naked eye and honestly, I might just rock both of these because no one's going to be able to really tell the difference. Obviously, I can. But <clears throat> when you get gold-plated jewelry, um, you're taking a risk, honestly, uh, because it's not going to last forever, the gold plating. It really isn't. And the main thing, no matter how well you take care of it, it's probably going to wear out you know over time and there's always the option of getting it replated but you know that costs money and, and so that's probably not a good idea so that's why a lot of my pieces I've replaced with solid gold and um, I'll just tell you this is the solid gold one and this is the gold plated as you can see the gold plated come on camera has kind of that you know cheesy gold color where the solid gold has the you know this is 10 karat and it has that you know um, lighter gold color I should say not that profound like 18 you know carat look but um, I still really enjoy it um, I'm glad I purchased it now this one is from Goo Jewelry this one is from the real jewelry company and um, both pieces I'm pretty happy with but as you can see here right come on right on the clasp it's starting to wear so you know, like I said, with gold-plated jewelry, it doesn't last forever. Obviously, you save money on it, but um, in the long term, it's you're gonna get up disappointed, man. Now there is gold vermeil where they plate it more than you know one or two times, and there's also other places that do more layers of um, gold plating. So that might be the way to go if you're trying to save money. But the, you can't go wrong getting solid gold. It's always going to uh, last. Um, it may, you know, tarnish a little bit, especially being uh, 10 karat, but you can get that, you know, fixed and buffed out. So let's take these uh, over to the table I got over here and uh, we'll get a closer look. Now, as you can see, I got them both laid out here. I got them laid out as straight as possible. The one on the left here is the gold plated one and the one on the right is the solid gold now you can tell the solid gold is built better it's straighter and uh, doesn't have this little you know meandering that the gold plated one does but you know I'm pretty impressed with both of them honestly uh, with the solid gold you're paying a lot more you know five to ten times the amount as you would on gold plated now gold plated silver that is I don't recommend getting anything other than gold plated silver um, 
Then this, like I said, this one's from Goo Jewelry, and this one is from the real jewelry company. Now I'll try to get it closer to the camera here. Now, as you can see, it's gorgeous. You know, they they do look really good. I have a um, special light kind of to give it that nice look going. But if you're going to wear it every day, I recommend getting solid gold. If you're going to wear it not that often, just maybe on a night out, then maybe going with the gold plated would be, you know, the way to go for you. Let me try getting it in a different light. Just a regular light here. Here's a little closer look as you can see. Now they use more silver on the one on the left because, you know, it's a cheaper uh, material than using actual gold. But, you know, the main thing is, guys, is you, if you're going to get gold plated, you got to take great care of it, and you don't want to wear it every day. And if you get solid gold, you don't got to worry about that stuff, which is nice. And, you know, with me, I love, you know, the tennis chain or tennis bracelets, and uh, but it's not something that I would wear every day just because you don't want to damage it even if it is solid gold so but those are the main you know things when it comes to buying solid gold or gold plated you get like i said you're going to save a lot of money getting gold plated but it's not going to last forever we're getting solid gold it's usually built a little better and it's going to last forever you're not going to have any issues but it is quite a bit more expensive so well this is part one i'm going to do a couple of these solid gold versus um gold plated on some of my other items now these are both five millimeter they're exactly the same size and the other videos i'm going to do i'm going to be comparing the exact same uh product i've noticed a lot of videos on here they're comparing like a rope chain to a Cuban <clears throat> link, you know, we're being solid, one being solid gold, the other being gold plated. Well, I'm going to be comparing exactly the same product. Uh, just one is solid gold and the other is gold plated. So anyways, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and uh, peace. Baltimax out.